Greetings from the Rectory, episode number nine. Hoping this is the penultimate one, but we shall see. I've said that quite a few times already. So I want to give you a little report on how it went over the weekend. We had our communion services here at St. Rita's. Everything went very, very well. A couple of questions that people had I'd like to answer. First of all, we are weather permitting. If it's not too windy and if it's not raining, we will have a station outside. So if you feel more comfortable receiving communion outside, you are welcome to do so. As to the priest washing his hand in between each communicant, uh, we've decided that we're not going to do that. We are being very careful to whisper, number one, and number two, not to touch anyone's tongue. If we do touch the tongue, we will, in fact, purify our hands. If you're still uncomfortable with this and would still like to receive communion, I would be more than happy to set up an appointment with each family that wanted to do so and have you come in for a quick communion service during the week. I'd be more than happy to provide that service. We're just trying to get communion to everybody that wants it. Our Lord, you're welcome to come and get it. So however you feel most comfortable doing that, we are happy to oblige you there. Good news for you gluten intolerant people. We did get some low gluten hosts. They're not zero gluten. They're 0 .00 whatever gluten. They have been consecrated. So we do have 30 consecrated hosts in the tabernacle. So if you come to a communion services, whether it's during the weekday on uh, at 7.30, or if you come on Sunday, just let us know at the end. We'll go back and grab the picks out of the tabernacle, and you can also receive communion as well. And then just I'd like to talk a little bit before I go today about, oh, first of all, please keep bringing food to the St. Rita house. Uh, we still need it. We're still running out. We're still bringing it to Grace. We're still bringing it to Mother Light Center, all these things. So you've been doing a great job. Please continue doing that. Uh, it's been a boon. I've signed over $20,000 in rental assistance checks for people. We're signing them all the time. So your generosity has been tremendous. Uh, please keep giving to the poor box and we will keep getting your money out to those people in need. And then lastly, just a little bit of a, a reflection, I guess, on how we're dealing with the implementation as we've come to these communion services. And then this will impact us again once we go to 50% mass availability and attendance, that there's, as you all know, there's people on either side of how we should do this thing. People that think we should be doing absolutely nothing, just open the church, go back to normal, or there's also people that think we should set up a surgical clean room for the distribution of communion and everybody in between. So we have to manage based on all of that, uh, looking at faith and reason. And I wanna make sure that we all understand that faith and reason should be coming together and they should be united in this, that there shouldn't be any conflict between our faith and our reason. So that means that we're not ignoring doctors completely and saying that God will 100% protect everyone, but at the same time, we're not saying that God won't protect us and that he's not looking out for us. And that if we do follow good and safe and prudent measures, that we may or may not get sick, but we trust in the Lord and we trust that he's taking care of us. And so we have a, a nice blending and a mixture of our faith and our reason. And if we can do that, then I think we will see less conflict and hopefully a little bit more charity and an understanding that not everybody's going to see this the same way. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if any two people truly see the implementation of all this in the same direction, in the same fashion. So we're doing the best that we can. And we're making slight adjustments here and there, taking emails from people, answering questions, if you have anything, please contact me. Call me, send me an email. I'm more than happy to discuss any of these things with you. Just know that we're doing it so in a way that we hope that most people will be able to feel comfortable to come and receive our Lord, while at the same time maintaining just a beautiful sense of our love for the Eucharist. So may Almighty God keep you and bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.